What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I need to show y'all this tweet, man, so we can actually get into the topic at hand for this particular video. Let me let me show y'all the tweet in hand. The Rock and Roman Reigns segment from this past Friday's episode of SmackDown has now surpassed half a million dislikes in under 36 hours extending its record as the most disliked wwe youtube video of all time 4 million views 97k likes 500k dislikes let me show you this other tweet hashtag we want cody is now trending with over 200,000 posts. And if you look right here, this was, uh, I want to say, like maybe an hour ago of me filming this, it's already at 220K posts. Trend, the hashtag, we want Cody. <clears throat> the reason why I brought that up is, is this online fan outrage going to last to be honest with you it's not this is actually working in wwe's favor for those who don't know especially on youtube if you like or dislike a video it's running up engagements and if you more than likely dislike disliking a video you're going to comment on why you dislike a video more comments, more engagement, more people talking about it. The fact that TMZ and USA Today have articles talking about The Rock and Roman and Cody and, and the implications of that, it's all working for WWE. It's all making WWE must see, must talk about. It's working. And I don't even think fans maybe realize it i've seen so many tweets talking about is this the right move so many scenarios of people saying maybe it's gonna happen this way so much speculation and it's one of those things where it's like wwe is one in the sense of what they were trying to achieve and i hope you guys understand what they were trying to achieve is simple to get you to stop talking about Vince McMahon and the lawsuit. That was it. Before the Rum Royal Rumble, when that news broke, that's what everyone was talking about. After the Royal Rumble, people were talking about how they weren't, <laughs> you know, a big fan of Cody winning back-to-back -back years at the Royal Rumble or how predictable it was. People were still somewhat talking about what was going on with Vince. And more reports were coming out that now... The, the, the situation was going to be a federal investigation. Now, Rock being inserted into this main event picture for WrestleMania changed literally everything social media-wise, the landscape for WWE. No one is talking about Vince no more because this is the biggest thing that's happening right now for the company. And we still don't really even have all the answers. And I think that's the key point that I think fans are missing. We've been down this road before with the internet wrestling fans and how they view certain things and, and they want things to happen right now. Hell, I've been one of those people that have been on that. I wouldn't say on the hate train, but I have made my comments saying, damn, this doesn't make sense. What the hell's going on? And I'm, I'm still holding out hope in the sense of trying to see where this story goes. Because we really, truly don't know. All we know is the Rockets came back and it's looking like he's inserting himself into the main event picture and Cody's getting pushed to the side. That's how it looks. And maybe that's the look they're going for. But right now, we still don't know how is it truly going to play out. How is this going to, I guess you could say, change within the next few weeks. I mean, we have like 60-something days left as of me filming this until WrestleMania. We still got Elimination Chamber. That's going to be playing to it. And we still got WrestleMania. We have plenty of time 
to really see how things fall into place. So we don't really know. We don't know. But one thing we do know is the fan outrage is really helping. And I don't think it's going to last. You want to know why I don't think it's going to last? Because if you go back down memory lane, when Rock made his appearance on Monday Night Raw, the surprise appearance, and he alluded to just saying, hey, maybe I want to sit at the head of the table, crowd there, make their oohs and ahs, people on social media, there were some that were for it, but there was a lot of people that was like, they were all for that. Now, granted, we also got to put into consideration the timing, the timing of things. And I've seen a lot of people say people have been wanting the, the Rock and Roman, and now they don't want it. I think it's more to that. I think it's more so the online community wants to see this happen, but they don't want um, a star uh, up and coming, not even up and coming. He's been one of the WWE's main event guys. They want to see, I think it's more so or less, they don't want The Rock to quote-unquote take a spot that he quote-unquote hasn't earned. And that's how they feel, how things are since he's one of the board uh, directors. He sits at a higher table than a lot of people in the company since he's one of the board directors. He has stock in the company now. Things look a little bit fishy from the outside in. And once again, WWE is a business. And business-wise, whether you guys want to admit it or not, business-wise, we know why that match is the more appealing match. Does it make sense in the story? No. People are going to want to see this match. WrestleMania has been sold out. So it's not about that. I think it's more so to get people to talk about The Rock and Roman. It's more so to potentially get new eyes because <clears throat> people, all, all you got to do is say The Rock is wrestling again at a WrestleMania against Roman Reigns. More people are going to want to tune in. Not to say that people ain't going to tune in to Cody and Roman. Of course, they're going to tune into that. But the bigger audience that maybe hasn't watched wrestling in a while are going to want to tune in to see, wait, The Rock is wrestling again? Hold on. It's one of my childhood favorites. Let me see what's going on here, maybe. And the fact that TMZ and other news outlets are talking about this, it works. So, me personally, I just don't think this hatred is going to last that long. It's not. Some people are going to have their opinions on it, and I'm really hoping Cody does have an opportunity before this WrestleMania season over to actually wrestle Roman and finish his story. That's idealistically what I would prefer. But let's keep it a buck. Say, for example, Cody doesn't get that opportunity this year. He ends up wrestling Seth Rollins, whatever. Wouldn't be a fan of that. But how many of y'all are not going to watch? And be honest with yourself. If Roman and The Rock has a, a pretty solid build and it's going to main event WrestleMania night two this year, how many of y'all are not going to watch? You got to ask these questions. Out of those 500,000 plus people that um, dislike that WWE clip, how many of them are not going to watch that match? It's the first time ever. How many of y'all are not going to watch it? No matter. And I've said things. I've said things out of frustration with booking and stuff like that. And guess what? I was watching the show. Yeah, it's part of my job. But even before it was part of my job, I ended up watching the show. It may have been a few weeks later, but I ended up watching the show at some point. So the question becomes, how much of that backlash is real backlash? How much of that is going to really affect WWE? You don't think Monday Night Raw is going to be a must-see? You don't think people are going to watch Monday Night Raw just to see if there's any indication of what may happen? You don't think people are going to watch SmackDown? Cody's supposed to be on this upcoming SmackDown. You don't think people are going to watch that? And guess what? Once again, it may be this may be all part of their plan because guess what? I've never seen Cody trend like this, and it's awesome. Even though I want to say after the Royal Rumble, those same people that didn't feel like Cody should be winning again or thought it was predictable and lame and boring that he won back-to-back -back Royal Rumbles are the same people that are supporting him because they feel like he's getting screwed 
out of a main event. He's getting so much love and support. Hell, Logan Paul, of all people, tweeted, we want Cody. And it's working. Because if that translates to people in those arenas, maybe that's what they wanted the entire time. So I don't know. I just think this outrage that's happening online, I don't think it's really going to translate as much as people think it is at WrestleMania. I've seen a few people say, oh, they're going to boo this main event out the building. I want y'all to understand, people at that WrestleMania, majority of them are not even going to be from Philly. It's going to be people from around the world. People are there to see something memorable. And I love Cody, but we all know the bigger match on paper, no matter how much we love Cody and his story, and I love that too, and I want him to finish it, we know the bigger match is Rock and Roman. That's the biggest match WWE can put on right now. Simple. The general fan, not the hardcore fan that be on Twitter all day, guess who they gonna choose? And they love Cody. Buy his merch and everything. They're still gonna choose Rock over the Rock over Cody. I've known that. I've known that. We've all known that. Is it right? Some can say that yes or no. But we know the Rock is that big of a star, not just in wrestling, but mainstream. So only thing I can say to those who <laughs> Who are, you know, not liking what's happening here. And I'm I'm still kind of on the fence. We do have to wait. We have plenty of time until WrestleMania. And if it doesn't happen, it's really unfortunate. And it does suck. But guess what? It may end up being a pretty good match between The Rock and Roman. We don't know. And we don't know what story they're trying to tell. And once again, we still don't know how this is going to play out. So we do kind of have to wait. This is what makes this year's WrestleMania is so unpredictable because we really don't know how things are going to play out. We think we have an idea and we don't know. And sometimes unpredictability is the best part of a potential show because it's going to get you to want to watch. It's going to get you to ask questions. It's going to get you to talk about it. And that's all WWE wants. You talking about them. This is the last time WWE has been talked about like this outside of the Vince McMahon stuff. It's been a while. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys feel like this online hate is going to last? Or do you feel like it's more so a trend? It's going to last, you know, not going to last that long. And people are going to focus on other things relatively soon. I don't think this is going to last that long. I don't even think it's going to hold out until Elimination Chamber. I think people are going to be focused on other stuff. And depending on how this story goes down, like plays out, I don't think people are just going to be like, oh, this is trash um, for the long haul. Some people may, but I, I just, I've seen it so many times in the wrestling community. People hop on one bandwagon and within a week, that bandwagon is already destroyed. And I think all the people that's disliking it, obviously it's become a trend to dislike that YouTube video. I think majority of those, of those people disliking the video will end up still watching wrestlemania comment down below let me know how y'all feel about all this but i appreciate all love support road to 150k and i'm still young speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next week peace